<laughs> yes, well, hop to it then, both of you. Oh yeah, yeah, Ella, please, you're embarrassing me. No, this movie is just full of secondhand embarrassment. I feel so like embarrassed for her. In theater. Subscribe. What's good? What's up, everybody? It's your girl KJ. Today we are going to be watching Ella Enchanted. I have not seen this movie in like 10 years. Like, I don't know the last time I watched this movie. And have to wait in her young, glorious days. Well, Anne Hathaway, she's still a young babe, right? How old is she? How old is Miss Hathaway? This came out in 2004. Oh, she's 38. Born in 82. Myra Max, I would have sworn he would have asked me like, would have asked me like 30 seconds ago, I would have sworn this was a Disney movie. Fairy tales tell stories of magic, of creatures that fly, the giants and dragons and ogres. Those are my favorite stories. Ogres and dragons and fairy tales. Oh yes. But our story today is different in theme. For our hero had no choice, or so it would seem. Oh dear Allah. People really don't get tired of retelling Cinderella, do they? Hello, I remember as a kid, Vivica Fox being in this movie was like everything to me. The outfit, it's on point, love that for her. Mm. Not a very well behaved little stinker, is she? Ella Frell, I give you the gift of obedience. Now go to sleep. I mean, in hindsight, it's a terrible power, but if I had like the ability to give that power to people, like to make people obedient, that should have been the power she gave her, not your obedience, everything everybody says. The perfect child. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Miss Ella, she knew exactly what she was doing. Nobody wants you here. I do. Fight me. <laughs> Period, Ella, Miss Ella, yes. Can you take the spell back? You're a fairy. Only the fairy who gave you the gift can take it back. But she said she'd turn your mother into a squirrel and take away my eternal youth if we ever asked her. I want to know who gave her her powers. I want to know, like, why wasn't she rebuked of her powers? If these are the gifts she's giving, like, everyone knows in the village that she doesn't give good gifts. Why is she still allowed to do this? But she never stopped fighting to have things her way. Ella, come practice your mandolin. I would hate this. I would literally hate having to do that, like, by force. Go wash the dishes now. Like, ew. Hurry up now. No! I mean, but that's kind of cool. Only Mandy and I know about the gift. Isn't it like a loophole? Was this before or after Princess Diaries? You're married? She has money, Ella. She's very fond of my title. It was either get married or sell the house. Oh, in this story, he's the broke one? Whoa. Like, that makes her have to do what they say. Like, they're the ones with the money. Like, they're the ones with the power. And these must be your lovely daughters. My clothes need more room than this. We'll have to use yours. What? Show it to us. Aye, aye, aye. It is the fact that there's like a signal. She has to stand up straight when she has to do whatever. It's like, girl, if you don't slouch over and pretend like you wasn't just told. Please don't touch it. It was my mother's. Can I have it? Come on, hand it over. <laughs> girl, at this point, I would just wear headphones all day. Headphones, I can't hear nothing you're talking about. Aren't you accommodating? <laughs> Ella, you can steal it back. There's nothing in like the clause that says she can't steal anything back. You gotta find the loophole. There's a loophole always. When King Florian was killed, allegedly, by an ogre. Sir Edgar saw it as an opportunity to exile all non- I see how she just, she's just disrespecting the necklace, putting it in her mouth. Just admit you're stupid and don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm talking about. Ay, 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 girl, no. The giants have always been peaceful. The ogres were peaceful too, until they ripped your father to shreds. Did the ogres do that or did you do that? I'm actually asking, I don't remember the storyline. No one even knew that you were with her. Literally no one knew. You embarrassed yourself when you ran over there. You're the first maiden I've met who hasn't swooned at the sight of me. Don't call me a maiden. So you have a new plan once you take the crown? Sort of. 
but of course I couldn't reveal it to a subject. <laughs> I'm obsessed with movies and TV shows that are like set around this type of like monarchy ish. They call each other maidens and ladies and stuff like that. I don't know. I just love that arrow. I love watching shows about it. Prince Charmant. And it sucks because she's like magically bound to it. <laughs> Ella Rafael, you, you are not like other girls. Oh, she's not like other girls. She, she coined. She coined not like other girls. I used to stand outside your castle and watch you turn your lights on and off. <gasps> Call the police. I need you to do me a little favor. Take those. Take them. <laughs> Girl, you should've been faster with it. Oh. I mean, it's kind of cool. You know what you could do if someone actually had like a, a big enough brain to be like, hey, Ella, fly. Like literally, the what you could do with this power. So Ella, who put you up to it? Damn, it was a reader. A, a reader. <gasps> you are forbidden ever to see her again. What? I don't know why the dad daughter was smart enough to leave his only daughter with complete strangers. They could be mass murderers. You wouldn't even know. Why doesn't the dad know about her power? He's an idiot. Oh, I blame the dad for this entire movie. The mom said it was only her and the fairy girl who knows about the power. Like, why didn't they tell the dad? What sense did that make? I never want to see you again. I hate this I hate this scene. We're best friends. I could never be friends with an Aorthian. Oh? Is that racist? I should have told you about this years ago. This book is my boyfriend. <laughs> I got a boyfriend in a book. Huh? I would have left her ages ago, except I love her so darn much, plus I have no legs. She's the ultimate trapper. He can't tell you where a person is. He can just show you pictures. Everything is so huge. Is that a wedding registry? She's in the giant world. <gasps> They're in Giantville. Uh... Go pick some. Look how they use very modern music for this raw time period. Ella was off. Glad to be rid of them. As she should. Look, I think it's only fair to warn you that I'm practiced in the ancient art of origami. Don't let him scare you, sweetheart. Kick his butt. Yeah. Ah. See, this is what you do with the power. This chick is nuts. Slam of pin. Ella and Frau, nice to meet you. Ugh. What makes him an elf? The fact that he has pointy ears and he's slightly shorter than her? Why don't you like music? Oh, that's right. I don't want to be an entertainer. I want to be a... A librarian? I think it's a librarian, right? I want to be a lawyer. Oh. <laughs> Close. He might be different than his uncle. Oh. Why? Because he's a hunk. What is he, uh, like about six foot? Yeah, about. Yeah, I hate the guy already. You're really not that short. You're about average woman height. I am the ogre. Nish. <laughs> How do you like I game? like my ogre's green. Wait. Yes, Prince Charming. What's his name? Char? Charmaine? Fine, I have things well in hand. Oh, yes, I could see that as you were dangling over the boiling cauldron. Did he just grow a mustache? He didn't have a mustache the first time we seen him. Look, I really appreciate the crazy? offer, but... Tell him to come with us. Come with us. So, traveling with an elf. Your boyfriend couldn't make it. No. Don't try to slickly slide your way into seeing she got a boyfriend. What about you? Your girlfriend doesn't mind being left alone? And you don't do the same thing. It's not cute. Be upfront. You got a boyfriend, you got a girlfriend. Period. You shouldn't believe everything you read in medieval teen. Excuse me. What's the equivalent to that? Seventeen magazine? Lawyer? Th that's not really my area of expertise. To talk to my uncle. I'm sure if you make a good argument, he'll come round. Well, thank you for your for not helping at all. We came to you for a reason, you idiot. You got a lot of work to do as prince before you become king. You're about to become king. Exactly, You'll babe. Have power to make a difference. In Let's start making some moves. Nobody should be forced to do things they don't want to do. Tell him. Take it from somebody who knows. Yeah. Whoa. Uh -uh. Giants have always been gentle. If you don't grab, oh, they're gentle giants. Stop it. That's why. Um, excuse me? Is Lucinda Periweather here? I like how the fairies all wear pink. That's cute. Show me Lucinda. Looks like she's getting an FWI. FWI? Flying while intoxicated. 
Oh, okay. And who's passing out these tickets? That's a fine young man you have here. Oh, he's not fine. He's not my man. I, I mean, mine. He, he is fine. <laughs> uh, 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 Never mind. <laughs> no, you have to stay for the party. Okay, I'll stay. You don't have to stay. I, I don't want to make you do anything you don't want to do. I mean, I get it. To her, it's a big deal. But, it's like, it's a normal thing that people should not do. It's a bare minimum. They're after me. Who? The Giants. They want me to sing. I don't sing. Oh, yes. This is my scene right here. This is, like, the only scene I remember. Sing. Anybody. Does Anne Hathaway sing in real life? Somebody to love. They did not have to do that. More than I get up, I tired of Can't barely stand on my feet. Can anybody find me? Somebody love. I'm okay, I'm alright. She's alright, she's alright. I got back up for you, Anne. I got back up. Yeah. Yeah. Every day. She said she's a dancer now. You know, she used to sing me to sleep every night. My father used to sing to me loudly and very off key, but. <laughs> Here we go with our main protagonist bonding session. This is very vital to the entire trajectory of the rest of the movie. I think you're gonna be a great king someday. And there his fall in love moment. She had hers already. She had hers when he's like, I don't want you to do anything you don't wanna do. We love a CGI castle. We love a green screen castle. I want to look 25 at tonight's ball. Oh, Jesus. babe. <laughs> That's a fool's dream. Oh, they had plastic surgery back in his day? Botox. Mm. Botox? Slannon, where is he? <laughs> I'll have my uncle send the guards to find Slannon. Everything's going to be fine. And don't forget, you are with the future king. You are with the future king or you are with the future king? There's a difference in the R. Are we together or are we just here? <laughs> to the uh, <laughs> whole of, of records. Yes, well, hop to it then, both of you. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ella, please, you're embarrassing me. No, this movie is just full of secondhand embarrassment. I feel so, like, embarrassed for her. The only negotiations between me and the Giants will be over our vegetable deliveries. We'll talk about it after your coronation. Yes? Fine. But we will talk. Period, Char. Get a future rightful king. Act like it. That's all I'm asking. I'm just asking you to act like the king. I don't know where else to look. Done flying retirement community for fairies. She's retired? Just After she been giving people these raw, terrible deals at their birth, cursing them since they birth, she gonna go ahead and retire. Ella does everything she's told. I, I don't know why, but she does. Pick it up. <laughs> now touch your toes. Oh! Oh no. Oh yes. Now jump up and down. Oh, please stop. This is actually very disturbing. This grown man telling her to do all of this. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. shake, shake, shake. <laughs> you will take this dagger and plunge it through his heart and kill him. What? No, no, I won't. It's lucky you're here. So I won't have to do it myself. She should really walk around with headphones. But why not? She, he killed his brother. I killed my he own killed brother. His... Period. Why? I want to be king. Ella, grow up. Of course that's why he did it. Put two clues together. There's one more thing. You will tell no one of this plan. Oh, I thought he was going to say you're going to kill yourself after. Maybe that's too dark. Ella. Babe, you should really walk around with headphones, earplugs, something. No ears came here, no face, no case. If I don't find her by tonight, something terrible is going to happen. Finding her would be something terrible. And yet, yeah, let her roll around for like 20 plus years, giving people, giving little babies curses. I really do believe you're going to be a great king. Goodbye forever. 
Ella. And here's the breakup part of the movie. Just once, I want that to be the ending. There's no coming back together in the end. Would you, um, <laughs> would you care to dance? Are you kidding? That's all she ever talks about. <laughs> you wanted to look younger. You spend less time on your oh. face. Oh, 2021, she would fit right in, babe. That is the new look. You look great. You look great. Lucinda, Lucinda, Lucinda. Ah! Lucinda is a hot mess, but I love the outfit. And the hair. I remember you, the obedient one. So she remembers her gifts. I need you to take the what does that say about her? Don't blame me for your problems. Did I chain your butt up to this tree, huh? Well, huh? But you not. And in fact, just to prove what a gem I am. I've never been more annoyed at a person ever. And I hate that. I hate that. Why, Vivica? Why would you be this annoying in this film? Yes. Abs on point, though. Tell me about your sister. Olive, idiot. Uh, no, Ella. Oh. Oh, you came to dance with me to get tea on my sis? <laughs> I was wondering, like, why'd he go there to dance with her? He just wants some tea. He's just trying to see what's going on with Ella. But I, I am wrong for you, Char. I am wrong for the kingdom. Is that what this is about? Ella, that, that's crazy. Come with me. <laughs> you think Anne Hathaway ever gets tired of playing the princess, playing the queen? She's literally royalty in everything i've seen her in princess diaries this alice in wonderland what else i wish i could tell you i wish i could tell she's a great crier she's really good at crying you just do it go take that so this is the moment out of her entire life where she's like you know what i'm not gonna do it i mean it makes sense because she's getting ready to kill somebody but still you will no longer be obedient She tried to kill me. We gotta watch Alice in Wonderland. She tried to kill me! The girl was obviously part of the scheme. The ogres never planned to hurt her. She was just toying with your emotions, Char. That's kind of a good lie. I would probably believe it. Like, what? I just don't believe it. I wouldn't believe it, but I'd be like, um, yeah, I'm gonna go see for myself. Are you okay? Fine, but Char might not be. Show me Edgar. He's poisoned it. We gotta go. Come on. Come on, guys! We got a coronation to crash! Drop that crown! It's payback time. See, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I've been talking about. Crush their heads! Crush their heads! I mean, well, that works too. I can't believe I'm saving you after you tried to kill me. I didn't try to. Oh, please, you love me. Yeah, he's a real boy. There's no way he knows how to walk still. If he's been a book that whole time, he would have to learn how to rewalk again. Whoa. I know, right? Oh. <laughs> okay. Try. There's one more thing. He killed your father. <laughs> what? She had to take him to the side to say that. Who are you gonna believe? This lying little twit. Or the man who raised this kingdom, idiot. Oops. I mean, well, they say you are your worst enemy. Save my life. Then we're even. I mean, yeah, I tried to kill you and I tried to save you, so we are even, right? Girl. You are never to kiss him again. You didn't get the memo? It's over with. You want a bet? I now pronounce you husband and wife. Are we married like that? I wish we seen her make up with her friend. She just right there. She just popped up. I want to see the apology, like, you know, the ex explanation. My true love, Ella. Why is she even there? I mean, I guess she's part of the, she's part of the town, the village. So she has to be there since she's part of the kingdom. If you follow your heart and end with, with a song. song. Jungle breaking my heart. I if I try. try. Didn't uh, Chicken Little end like this with this song? Nobody knows it. Nobody I used to know this entire choreography as a kid. What is 
Lucille doing right there? You ain't invited to the wedding. Good luck, Ella. Good luck, Ella. All of you, I must say, for I've only two words left, and they are the end. The end. <laughs> we love a great fairy tale ending, don't we? So cute. I'm just in. A, I'm just in the mood to watch all things magical, all things fairy tale, all things adventurous. You know, I want to watch Alice in Wonderland, but then again, I want to watch. Um, then again, I want to watch Maleficent. I'm just in the mood to watch all things magical, fairy tale, not Harry Potter though. When I do Harry Potter, it's going to be like an entire binge, and I'm not ready for that type of commitment yet to sit here for like 16 plus hours. If you guys enjoyed this video, this little trip down memory lane, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you. And the next one is Shirley QJ. Bye.